What are you doing? You're drunk. Go home. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to my very first sit down video on my channel. There's shit. We've been out. We farted a little too hard. Oh my god. 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 <laughs> My channel, it's gonna be a drug QA as wait, promised. Wait. What, Shane? This is our bedding. No, it's wet. Fuck. Also, it's two in the morning and people are sleeping. Yeah, but I'm not asleep. You're loud as fuck. Go home. <laughs> First question is coming from Love YouTube Forever says, Ryan Adams, if you could be a fruit. What would you be and which veggie would you fuck? I would definitely be a banana because bananas are my favorite fruit and I would fuck an avocado because I love some guacamole. Guacamole, guacamole. What are your favorite old TV shows? Uh, the TV show that actually made me move to Los Angeles is Friday Night Lights. Why did you get a tattoo? Who do you right It's now? done, it's over, it's on my leg, too late. But honestly, Friday Night Lights is what made me move to LA because I thought I was going to be an actor. Also, I have so many cringy audition tapes. I think I might share one with you guys. Come on, let's go. Don't act all separate, just you don't know what's going on here. No, this is for real. This. I'm done with you anyway. He's a real man. I'm sincerely happy for you. Just so you know, all those times I acted like I was having a good time in bed, I wasn't. I just felt sorry for you. Is it even my song? Olivia W asks, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Hopefully, on some kind of morning show, being a basic axe bitch. I would fuck an avocado because I love some guacamole. Next up, Lace Chip says, Ryland, have you ever been recognized in public? And do you have any funny stories from that? Um, yes, motherfucker. I get recognized as Andrew from BuzzFeed every day of my life. I was at the Grove like a week and a half ago. Shane, are you literally wait, shitting in there? What's going wait, on? Wait, you're not Andrew from BuzzFeed? Well, then this isn't worth it. <laughs> For real, I was at the Grove. A herd of about seven girls go, Oh my God, it's Andrew from BuzzFeed! And then they were all taking pictures of me and I, I just said, okay. Listen, as your manager, I think you need to call this video why I left BuzzFeed and the thumbnail will be you looking like the guy from BuzzFeed, looking like you're crying. a million views you're welcome there's a hole in my sock good night what is your full-time job um if some of you don't know i actually have worked full-time for a company called clever the internet is freaking out about the way kylie jenner is living her life i'm there all day every day monday through friday and sometimes sundays depending on when award shows happen and that's why i don't make more videos than just tuesday for now how drunk is shade right now well I think he's a little more drunk than me. We went bowling tonight and they were filling the cups all the way to the top. I had two, I think he had about three or four. Happy Pride, you're fucking gay. No offense, but bowling is fucking boring. Shut up, you're drunk, go home. Did you enjoy your old modeling career and what was the worst photo ever taken? I did move out here in hopes of becoming a print model. And so I took a lot of cringy pictures. Take a look at some of the worst. Yes! This is giving me life, hunty. Who is she? Sherry Light wants to know, why are you so close to the camera in your vlog? Um, okay. I actually have a reason for that. I'd like to be close to the camera because I'm not in love with my teeth. I have this tooth that overlaps the other front tooth and at certain angles it just annoys me so much. And if I'm smiling big in a photo or whatever, I see that and I think, ew, that's gross, ew, hide that. So Shane always tells me that I should not fix my teeth. And I would like to fix my teeth, but in reality I probably will not. 
Ava Vajinanovic says, how did you lose your virginity? Um, I was actually a junior in high school and I was in love, or I thought I was in love with this girl for so many years. I think she probably pity slept with me. Uh, we were all in the hot tub. One of my friends helped it kind of happen. And then we went to the other room and I slept with the girl. That is the only girl I've ever slept with. I enjoyed it fully, but since then I have been gay. Yes! Ryland, any inspirational quotes? My mom literally always told me for my entire life, it's what you make of it. And so I have... She took that from somebody else. That's Hannah Montana. Doesn't matter, I don't care who she got it from. It's what I grew up on saying it's what you make of it. So I seriously believe, even if it's a shitty ass situation. Just take a situation and turn it all around. Sarah Zimmerman says, Ryland, what's been your most life-changing experience so far? All right. Most life changing experience when I first moved to LA. What got me started in Hollywood was being Justin Bieber's photo double and stand in for every single time he acted. The first time I meet Justin's on the set of CSI. And he was at Crafty, I was at Crafty. It was about 7 a.m. in the morning. He goes, Hey man, I'm Justin. And he was on his skateboard being Justin Bieber, I guess. And I was like, oh, that's very nice of him. The, like this famous pop star is actually introducing himself to me, who's just playing a stand in or double. But I actually was with Justin about seven or eight times while he acted in his career. Even one time he was filming a Macy's Christmas commercial. Yo, I'm going to Macy's Black Friday sale. And he rocked up like three hours late with Selena. And so I was in Selena's presence. But Justin was always so, so, so nice to me and um, causing problems on set always. Like one time we were on CSI and he swallowed a whole bunch of candy whole and had to go to the emergency room and couldn't come to set next, the next day. So fun fact, if you're watching CSI from like three years ago, you'll actually see the scenes of Justin from the back. That is my head. drug q and I feel like I'm a little bit more sober now. I hope you had a good time. If you want to watch last week's video, you could do so right here. It's a week in my life. It's also about a supposed wedding. I swear I'm not the queen of clickbait. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting. I love you so much. I will see you next week. Goodbye. We can go to bed, sweetie. I already slept.